Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing really well. It's time for another reaction video. So not that long ago, I asked you guys on the community tab of my YouTube channel to send me your best pickups from brick and mortar stores. So we're talking TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross's, I mean, wherever. It doesn't have to just be a rack store, it can be anywhere. We're gonna go through some of those here today and I will pick a winner and <laughs> the winner it's going to get one of these. Yeah. So my wife made these for me for my birthday. Yeah, she made 10 of them. And she said it would be great for me to give them away on the channel. So that's what we're gonna do. So you can have your very own Jensen's t-shirt, one of 10. Let's jump into this. Let's check these fragrance pickups out. Okay, we're gonna do this the same way as before. So I'm gonna just go through the emails here and you will see what I'm seeing and we can take a look at this together and uh, figure out what is best. So here we go. All right, first one here is from Anson. Thank you Anson for sending this to me and actually thanks to everybody that sent me an email. Really appreciate it. And we'll keep doing these as time goes, you know, get some interaction going. Okay, so he says he purchased this fragrance from Burlington for $19.99. Retail is $100, so felt pretty good about it. Even more so when he realized the cap is magnetic and the atomizer is in the same ballpark as Sauvage. Nice pressurized atomizer. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, it is the Art of Shaving Green Lavender. And I like this picture. I like this picture. He, he put some effort into this and I appreciate that. This fragrance brand actually, or not fragrance brand, but fragrances from this brand, you can find sometimes at rack stores. Uh, I've seen them at Marshalls, I've seen them at TJ Maxx, and I think a lot of people will just walk by them and not even realize what it is. Because sometimes, especially if we're talking the smaller bottles, they may not have any presentation other than the bottle. And so people see them and they're like, ooh, doesn't look good. But as uh, Anson pointed out, retail price for these fragrances from Art of Shaving for the size bottle that he has here, uh, 100 mil, $100, yeah, $1 per mil. So if you find one of these, especially like he did for 20 bucks, that's a, that's a good deal. And that one is like the name says, a lavender fragrance. I think there's also mint in there. It's a nice gentlemanly kind of scent. So that's a, that's a solid pickup, nice start. All right, next up we've got Joel. Hey Joel, how's it going? And he wrote a little bit, so I'm gonna read through this really quickly to you guys. So he is from New York and this holiday season, he and his wife went shopping at Macy's up in Queens. And inside of Macy's, there is a Macy's backstage, which is similar to Marshall's or TJ Maxx. And that's actually the first time I've ever heard of that. I don't have a Macy's locally, so I can only go to Macy's when I'm you know, visiting a major city. I didn't know Macy's backstage was a thing, but now I know. He was looking through the usual Kenneth Cole and English laundry fragrances and noticed a black box. Most of the fragrances in those uh, were in clear security boxes, but he found one that wasn't, and it was Killian Woman in Gold. And there were two of them. Well, <laughs> okay, uh, both priced at $19.99, <laughs> oh my God, yeah, there we go. Look at that, $19.99 for two by Killian fragrances. That is a freaking deal, <laughs> oh my God. So uh, he bought them both, uh, 40 bucks for two bottles. Uh, says that there were no other Killian fragrances there and it is now his wife's signature scent. I do not know. <laughs> We're already just on the second one. I do not know that there's gonna be a better pickup in this, in this whole video, I don't know. We're gonna keep going, but just to put things into perspective, from Fragrance X, uh, Fragrance Discounter Online, that fragrance, about 250 bucks per bottle. And he found two of them. So essentially, from discounter prices, $230 off per bottle. Whew. 
That's a pickup. Next up, we've got a pickup from Smorgan. <laughs> That's what the email address says, Smorgan. Thanks, Smorgan. So his best pickup is a 100 mil bottle of 78 vintage green, and he found it at a Banana Republic factory store under 20 bucks. Now, this fragrance, I love. I love 78 vintage green. That is my favorite Banana Republic fragrance. So I can get on board with this one. Looks like it was $19.20, 60% uh, discount is what they gave him according to the, uh, the receipt there. So that one, yeah, top notch. Fantastic spring fragrance, great in the summer as well. Classy, very versatile, you can wear it to the office, people love it, really, really nice. And for that price, it smells way more expensive than a $19 fragrance. Next up, we've got a pickup from Donald. He was shopping in Marshalls and found a whole bunch of Atelier Blom fragrances, $79.99 a bottle. Now, I know that sounds pretty expensive. It seems like, ah, oh, that's, that's not really a great deal. It's 80 bucks per bottle. Yes, it's $80 per bottle, but that's still a big discount from what they normally cost. These normally run $195 each, at least at retail. And you know, I think they might be discontinued now. I could be wrong there. I haven't looked it up, but I think that they might be discontinued now. My favorite is Black Tulip, which smells great. It smells like going into a florist shop and just having lifelike florals there with the uh, like water mist on them, it smells great. So he picked up Iris, 1614, Half Moon, and William picked up four at 80 bucks per bottle, and then came back the next day and picked up another bottle of Iris. So five bottles. He was spending a little bit of cheddar there. You know what though? I dig that. I actually found uh, William at a local TJ Maxx and I bought it myself. So now I have two fragrances from the house, Black Tulip and William, and the quality on those is far superior uh, than the $80 price tag. So that is a solid pickup in my opinion. And it becomes even more solid if they're actually discontinued. Up next, we've got Mel, Mel, and he's hitting us with the discounted Robert Graham's Valor for 12 bucks. That's a good deal. And I'll tell you why, that fragrance, Smells really nice. First off, a really high quality fragrance. Nice and warm, uh, a little bit spicy, and uh, has a coffee note in there as well. And it's discontinued. Yeah. So $12 for that fragrance is an absolute steal. 100% steal. Because Valor, like I said, it's discontinued. The price keeps going up on that. And it's really weird. Those Robert Graham fragrances came out not that long ago. I feel like 2016 and they're already discontinued. So becoming harder and harder to find. All right. Next up, we've got D Joan 87. Thank you for sending it to me. Appreciate that. And I, I like the picture. I like that picture. So he found bond number nine, New York Amber, and it was hiding in the women's fragrance section. $79.99 at Marshalls. And this is a good thing to bring up. A lot of times in uh, rack stores, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross's, Burlington, wherever, they'll have fragrances separated. So they'll have the men's section over here, the women's section over here somewhere. But most of the people that work in the stores don't really know necessarily which place to put the fragrances. So they'll get a fragrance and a lot of times it'll be a, a man's fragrance, a masculine fragrance, and they'll take it and put it in the women's section. Or if it's a unisex fragrance, they'll 99 times out of 100 put it in the women's section. So bond number nine, New York Amber, this fragrance is more of a unisex scent, and they put it in the ladies section, and he went over there and found it. That's good thinking. And I actually have that fragrance behind me right now, right there, right there. So that's a solid pickup right there. $79.99 for a bond number nine and a good bond number nine at that. It's good. Up next, we've got one from Emilio. And Emilio found a 50 mil Prada Luna Rosa Carbon for 13 bucks. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. I bet a lot of people are jealous about that. Luna Rosa Carbon, basically Prada's take on Dior Sauvage. So really similar to Dior Sauvage, a little bit of a Prada twist, you know, less aggressive, a little bit smoother. A lot of people do prefer 
Lunarosa carbon in. 13 bucks, that's a no-brainer. Says he also found a 60 mil Roberto Cavalli Womo Silver Essence for 18 bucks. Not quite as good of a deal as the Lunarosa carbon, but a great fragrance and for under 20 bucks, can't beat it. Up next, we've got Joel. Let's see what Joel has sent us. Oh, he's got a list. He's got a list here from Marshalls. He got Commodity Bergamot for 14 bucks and Vetiver for 18 bucks. Man, those are deals. I talked recently about Commodity. So Cliff's notes here, shortened version. Commodity was a niche brand. You could find it at Sephora all across the US. Went out of business, kaput. So their fragrances got liquidated, and that's what you're finding now at Marshall's TJ Maxx. But it was brought back to life, I believe last year, by Euro Perfumes. So Commodity does exist again, and they're making these fragrances again. Bergamot, Vetiver, they're making these again. But <laughs> the ones from when they were uh, discontinued, those ones are making their way to all these stores. And so you can find them for next to nothing when they retail for quite a good price. So Bergamot and uh, Vetiver, for example, those are $135 fragrances at retail. Found it here for 14 and 18. That is good. Marc Jacobs Men, $26. Also great. And you don't see that fragrance very often at rack stores. At least I never have. If I had, I would have bought it. L'Enval Cartier, L'Enval de Cartier. Eau de Parfum, $20. Mugler Alien Man, $18. So those are great deals. Uh, from Burlington, Vetiver Citron, $6.99. Keton, $8. Green Lavender, $12.99. From Ulta, Sandalwood and Cypress, $5.97. Angel by Mugler for $10. And Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome, $25. This man, Joel, is very lucky. <laughs> he, he's, got, he, he's got the eyes open, the radar going, and anytime he feels or senses a deal, he's jumping on it. I mean, look at that Cartier. That is sick. That is the fragrance and it looks like a refill. So you've got basically double the amount of fragrance there, at least from what I can see. And he picked that up for what, 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 bucks. And then the Marc Jacobs is a 125 mil too. It's not even a small one. What? Man, I never find stuff like this. And just a quick thing about the Marc Jacobs for men fragrance there. For a long time, and I'm talking like the better part of a decade, People have been saying, hey man, it's discontinued. You can't find it anymore. And yet, it's still out there. Let's do a couple more and we'll call this one a day, but we'll do it again in the future soon. Uh, this one's from Hollywood Joe. Shout out to Hollywood Joe. Hope everything is good on your end. $18 a piece from Marshalls and <laughs> Boar Valor. Uh, not just one, he's got three. He's got the trifecta. So I would guess that he knew that these were discontinued and that they were worth much more than 18 bucks and was like, I'm gonna get them all. Honestly though, not a, not a bad idea. You know, you keep one for yourself, gift to the others, or just keep all for yourself and, and be greedy, or even keep one for yourself and sell the others or swap them. A lot of different things you could do. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of this Valor here. I missed out on this somehow, you know? I, I didn't see any of these Valors at my local stores. I would've got one. All right, last one. This one is from Mike. Thanks, Mike. He was in Marshalls a little over a year ago, roaming the aisle, as we do, when he noticed a Creed box on the bottom shelf next to some Beverly Hills Polo Club deodorant. That poor, poor Creed. What did you do to deserve to be down there? He picked it up, expecting it to be aftershave, uh, but it wasn't. He checked for the price, and to his surprise, there was not one. And uh, he took it up to the front and said, hey, how much is, uh, how much is this Creed? It's, uh, it's a pretty crappy box. I mean, it's probably worth 10 bucks. <laughs> or at least I imagine, that's what I would have done. I would have been like, this is not worth very much, but how much can I buy it for? There's no price. So anyway, he took it to the register and they took the Creed, they walked off and then came back a few people there were trying to price check it he said that they had a a light blue gift set a ferragamo gift set heard the uh, 
the cashier say to the manager, I know this brand is expensive, but I, I don't know the price. They were not wrong, yeah, it is expensive. They called a few people over, they huddled, and they went ahead and gave it the price of the Dolce & Gabbana set, $69.99. He quickly paid and ran out of the store. Yeah, that's probably what I'd do too. So he got a 50 ml bottle of Creed Aventus Cologne for $69.99, my man. And that is another thing, Mike is very smart here and lucky as well. He, uh, he knew that if there's no price tag on the fragrance that they're gonna have to try to figure out what the price is and sometimes you get lucky. So sure, the box is a little busted up, but guess what? 70 bucks for a 50 ml of Creed Aventus Cologne you're crazy not to take that. So now we have to decide the best pickup. Um, so <laughs> for me, it, it's gotta be the Killians. It has to be the Killians just because of the, that, that discount, that's insane. Now, of course, for me personally, I would have liked it more if it was a fragrance that I was going to wear, but he said it is now his wife's signature scent that she has two bottles, crazy expensive Killian paid next to nothing for. And you know what, I'm also gonna, I'll say Mike is a winner too, because his fast thinking got him a Creed for 70 bucks. So two winners. I know, I know, I know. Very exciting to win a Gen Sense. Hey friends shirt, hey friends. But hey, there's only 10 of these on the planet right now. On the planet. So all you have to do guys, um, you know who you, you know who you are. I can't even speak, you know who you are. Go ahead and email me and just give me your shirt size, your address, and I'll, I'll send one of these to you. You know, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. Versace collection, Giorgio Armani, no. Nah. <laughs> How about Jen Sensei hey, friends, boy? All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks everybody for sending these in. It's a lot of fun to go through these, and uh, we'll do some more videos like this in the near future where you guys can send stuff to me and we'll kind of go through these and interact and everything. It's fun. And actually a lot of you have still been sending in your fragrance collections. So we'll do another part of that here in the near future too. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.